Hi everybody, it's Kieran Stapen, head teacher at St. Joseph's Catholic High School, Friday the 31st of March. Take three. Right, brilliant. Okay, this is with the cast of Matilda! <laughs> and if you want tickets to come and see tonight, it's tough because it's all sold out because it's been absolutely brilliant. But we thought that we'd come and just speak to some of these guys about just what it's been like to, to be in the show and their final nights tonight. So, Oscar, we'll go to you first. Come on, tell us a little bit about what right, it's been. Right, I mean, it's, it's been honestly incredible. The last six months, it's been tough, especially, like, the last two weeks. I mean, rehearsals all day, I think, especially this week. Uh, Wednesday and Thursday, 13-hour school days. I mean, we are, we're all knackered, honestly. We're all knackered. <laughs> we're all absolutely knackered. We're all absolutely knackered. Apologies about that. There we are. <laughs> In the last six months, it's, it's flown by. It's flown by. I mean, I must say, it's, it's just been fantastic. Big good fun? Yeah. 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 Very good fun. It's been incredible. It's, it's, I can't wait to see it tonight. It's just going to be amazing. I'm really yeah, it, it will be. It will be. It will yeah. be. If, if Ollie will don't be. mess one of up. True. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us a little bit about what you've learned and gained about it. What have you, what have you enjoyed tonight? Ooh. I really enjoyed how like um, everybody's watching and how everyone can like experience um, how yeah. we also like um, perform and they can see how, how like good we are. Yeah, pretty brilliant. Rio, you've enjoyed it, haven't you? Yes. Go sure. on, tell us a little bit about it. Rio, Rio. It's just been so fun, but very stressful as well. See, like when we wanted to get changes, it's fun, but it's also very stressful. Like, yeah. we're on next. What are we on? And like. It's very, we're very good at communi communicating, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> but basically, what are you the about? The, my favourite part, my favourite part is revolting children. Oh, and, and, and you, you sort of come a bit of a team. Yeah. 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 We're all a team. Yeah. Teamwork, teamwork makes the dream work. No, yeah. so yeah. we're not really a team. We've become yeah. a family. Yeah. 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 That amazing. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to come back to, to this mm. young lady down here because, for those of you, and, and I suspect that, um, that a lot, a lot of people both here and who've just been students, and I would suspect parents who've got their children here as well mm. won't recognise Gwen. Gwen's <laughs> leaving us to retire after 35 years oh. at the school. Oh. 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 So we just want to say massive thank you for everything that you've done here. We've had an emotional goodbye in the staff room and then in the I office know. earlier today. So I won't say too much more. What's it been like working at Absolutely the fantastic. Uh, the kids have been absolutely brilliant. And, and uh, I wouldn't have missed one 35 years of it. In thank you. Thing. There you go, perfect. Was and, 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 and I think the kids were saying that they love their fish and chips from you. Yes. Yeah. 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 Extra cheese. Yeah. 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 Curry. Yeah. Curry. Curry's all right. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely amazing. Brilliant. And by pop, thank you. I say thank you so much. I can't wait to see it tonight. We're really good. You'll love it. 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 By popular parental demand, there's a young lady just behind us here as well. We're going to have a quick look at some completion of her work. Um, no, 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 Ione, come and show us. Come Thank you so much, guys. Right, we're going to go and have a quick look in the next room. See you tonight. Break a leg. Thank you, miss. Thank you. Right. There we go. right, you might remember Ione, who's here, um, who caused a bit of a stir the last time we came on because of the artwork you were putting up on the wall, but it's expanded a little bit more. Go on, tell us about what we're going to see. Um, Three more faces of myself out of soft pastel with my hands. And here it is up on the walls. Look at that. Incredible is that. Go on, tell us about a little bit about the thinking process. Some of this is not personal, isn't it? I want to talk about it. But yeah, so my theme for my artwork is a loss of control. So I wanted to create heads sort of going in a 360 direction to show them like trying to escape something. And yeah, that was my. What process? Absolutely amazing. I think everyone who's come in here has just found it absolutely stunning, haven't we? We know that. Look, I think of all the things we've done in video bulletin, this has caused the most kind of like parental what's it happens next kind of thing. So mm -hmm. I think everyone's a big thing. From everyone out there, I think um, keep up the great work. And not only is she an amazing artist, but she's also really good academically because it's biomedicine is the future for you, isn't it? And hopefully a future doctor. And I would hope she pushing stuff in there but she's yeah. doing absolutely brilliant. Can I say a massive apology to all these guys as well <laughs> who are doing up some some maths a and give us a quick heads up in there as well. So <laughs> thank you Ian. I'm gonna go through your messages but yeah. that's absolutely brilliant. Thank you so much. Right, okay, I'm gonna shoot off. Right, okay, some other messages that we've got here to give as well. If I can quickly run down here. First of all, got Matilda tonight. We had a rewards day this week, um, which has been um, absolutely brilliant. You've seen loads of photos of those in the bulletin. Um, they've been brilliant. We had the Year 11 Food and DT exams yesterday, which went really, really well. Um, just a few things up and coming um, to tell you how things are going on. We had the Year 11s, uh, got a Year 11 Select Parents Evening 
uh, coming up um, this week. There's approximately 30 people coming to that. You'll know if you're being invited to that. We look forward to meeting you there. Um, don't forget, we're in next week. For some reason, uh, our, our week is our, our holidays are a little bit out of joint this week. We'll have that put back as normal last week for next year. But we're in next week. Please don't forget that. I know the students might, but please remind them we're coming in. We've got a whole school mass on Wednesday coming in. That's going to be a lot of fun. There's also for the Lent raising champion, uh, uh, the Lent. Uh, raising campaigns. We've got a silent disco on Wednesday after school. Um, if, if your children want to do that, if you sign up on Parent Pay, that's on Wednesday between 3.15 and 5.15 in the evening. We're finishing on Thursday at 12.30. That's on Monday, Thursday uh, this week. Um, on Friday, the ski trip um, is departing. Okay, and if you're in Year 11, uh, you'll, you'll certainly there'll be a letter going out about holiday interventions and sort of recap and revision sessions going on um, over the Easter holidays, which is happening over here after the two weeks after that but please don't forget we've got next week incoming through just some advanced notices um, coming up on monday the 24th of april that is an inset day um, so the children will not be required to come in on that monday now that's a big day here the whole trust is coming here There's about 500 teachers come to st joseph's where we're going to be hosting a, a guy called doug lamov who's going to be coming and teaching for the whole to be here with the whole day here so doug lamov is probably one of the world's most forefront and leading educationalists uh, involved in teaching in neuroscience and how it affects it. So that's a big day for his and we're, we're really, really excited um, about that. Um, and Friday the 28th is St Joseph's Day and um, that's going to involve a huge load. There's a faith walk going on within that. We're going to be walking about four and a half miles to raise money for Access to Shine. That's the school that we're going to build out in Nigeria. And that'll be after a mass here for St Joseph's Day run by the bishop. So that's, uh, that's going to be really um, exciting as well. Um, well, we, wouldn't, um, we couldn't complete the week if we hadn't talked about what happened on Monday as well. Um, well first of all, I just want to say really a heartfelt, um, huge thanks from... We've just been overwhelmed by the support from uh, the parents that have phoned in and uh, emailed in and popped in to say, you know, support their thanks and support for the school over what was a, a really, really difficult time. So, um, you know, we obviously had a, we had the letter sent out, we had an intruder on site. Um, uh, they got on site through the, through, through the entrance, through coming, sort of pushing past some students. Um, within about three minutes, we'd, kept, we'd sort of caught them down and sort of pinned them down. Um, they were challenged by two members of staff immediately. By the time we got there, it was um, about three or four minutes into the process, and we held them up there um, and until the police came. And we called the lockdown just to make sure that um, all the children were safe. Um, and then the police came and took them away. And that's really kind of what, what happened in that one. Going around, the children have just been amazing. They bounced back. Some of them were probably a bit shaken up by the day, but what was really impressive was that actually by the afternoon everything was kind of really back to sort of normal lessons and, you know, full play and, uh, you know, big shout out perhaps to the staff as well um, for, for getting that place and organising that and just running that whole place, keeping it calm, secure and safe. We've been speaking to the children um, throughout the week with the Friday Forum, we spoke about that um, as we were talking from there and, uh, and the place was, was, was um, yes, it's, it's been pretty back to normal here. The children have been amazing, amazing really. So um, thank you for all your support in that. And we finish um, just another bit of good news for, for St. Joseph's. Um, uh, Lauren Boland's uh, uh, one of our head of geography. Um, she's also now just been able to um, take a, a further post while still staying here full time with us. But she's going to go on to take a position of really um, lead teacher of geography across the trust. So that's a really big, a big, big sort of, um, uh, 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 sort of boost of confidence for us and what we're doing here as the school. For, you know, leading geography across um, 15 schools now within the trust. So that's that's something to be really celebrated as well. So lots of good things happening here. Um, uh, we hope to see you all next week. Just want to say thank you again for all your support. Um, St Joseph's, pray for us. <laughs>